Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. All right, hello and welcome to Teach Me Tech. I'm your host, Laurel Gray, and today I'm joined by the wonderful Guy Pearson. Now, what happens on Teach Me Tech? <laughs> Essentially, we walk you through a complete demonstration of how to set up or get more out of a cloud-based software application so that you can save tons of time in your business. Rather than going online and Googling how to set up all of these different tools, we walk you through an entire complete demonstration. And today, what are we going to cover? We're talking all about Practice Ignition. And the reason why we've got Guy here is because Guy is one of the founders of Practice Ignition, which is really awesome. Uh, in addition to that, he is also a chartered accountant. You're comfortable saying that in public? I am. Yeah? yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> and he also is the chairman of Interactive Accounting. That's is correct. that right? Yeah, that's right. Excellent. So he's got a lot of accounting experience. And Practice Ignition, um, you know, you're kind of getting the theme here if you're not sure about what it is. It's essentially a proposal generation and payment system. And we're going to find out all about it today. I'm really excited. Yay! But before we get going and talk about what we're going to cover, make sure that you're following along with us today. So make sure you've got your laptop or your computer out in front of you because we are going to be going through an entire complete setup process. The second thing is to use the hashtag you want, me, you want me to do this? Yeah, yeah help me out here. All right, perfect. Hashtag teach me tech to follow along, leave comments, or sort of join the discussion around practice ignition. All right, so what are we going to cover today? Firstly, why you need to centralize and connect your contract, billing, workflow, and payments in your business. Why you would choose practice ignition over some of the other options on the market, and what you need to know before you set this tool up and migrate all of your information in. Setting up a free trial or potentially logging in with Intuit, uh, which we'll go over a little bit later. Understanding how Practice Ignition is configured. Importing your client list using third-party applications or via uploading. Creating your service library, ooh, that sounds fancy, for your offerings. Creating a proposal with and without integrations. Connecting payments to your proposals. And finally, sending and accepting your first proposal. Ooh, I'm really excited about this, and I'm ready to get started. Are you ready? I'm ready. I obviously have got a lot of enthusiasm for Practice Ignition, and um, I don't like to toot my own horn much. Of course, that's not really my style, no. I never. <laughs> a little bit. Um, but I used Practice Ignition a couple of years ago, and you were saying the software has been around for about three and a half years. That's about right, yeah. Yep, so it's established, um, well-tested in the marketplace. Um, and I used to use Practice Ignition in my business. So I'm really excited to see how far it's come in the last little bit. So to get us started, I, I mean, maybe you can just give us a basic overview of what the software does. Uh, perfect, yeah. So as Laurel said, uh, our app is a business platform that is used to have contracts, uh, connect to workflow systems, connect to invoicing systems. And we have our own payment system, uh, both in Australia and the US. And the whole idea is to tie it all together um, and then give you some business insights and business analytics over the top so that you can understand how your service business runs, um, primarily with accountants and bookkeepers. That's our first target market. Sometimes we have people like Laurel who use it for non-accounting and bookkeeping businesses. Uh, but effectively, the idea is to really get a deep dive and understand where your business is going and look into the future. Mm. Yeah, what I love about it is that it really takes uh, proposal generation software, which, of which there are many of these on the market, which will essentially create a proposal for you and then dump that data into zero. It's like taking it one step completely further, not only by integrating the payments, but also giving you a complete dashboard of reporting. That's is right. that right? Yeah, that's about right. Mm. Um, so I think the key in what we tried to deliver, so when I used to run uh, our accounting firm and uh, you know, dealing with our clients who run services businesses, they were never able to achieve the sort of efficiency that you find in a software company. Um, so if I was using Xero, for instance, and I needed to jump up a plan, I would click Upgrade. On Xero's back end, their invoicing update, the workflow update, notifications for the team, connections to the back office systems, all just kind of happens and takes place. You as the end user have a really awesome experience. Um, what we're trying to do with Practice Ignition is bring that sort of efficiency, scalability, communication through for a services business dealing with their clients. 
Um, and I think that's why it's really important to have the contract drive workflow, billing and payments, just because it's seamless, it's easy, it's professional. Yeah, absolutely. And there's no other tool on the market that does quite as much no. while still adapting and being able to use add-ons. That's right. I mean, we have plenty mm. of competitors in aggregate. So you would probably have to bind together four or five systems to create what practice Ignition has currently. Um, and obviously, we're looking to build on that and sort of continue plug in other, other, should we say, features that will get rid of those other systems that you need and just continue to be that one business platform that sort of is the front office for your business. Yeah, that's great. Um, and I guess it's really good if you can walk us through, uh, you know, obviously Practice Ignition was built for accountants. Yes. Or bookkeepers. Yep. Right? But if you're a service-based business owner and you're watching this and you're considering using Practice Ignition for your business, maybe could you walk us through some examples? Yeah. Like, I mean, I used it for a consulting type business. So it's... It's funny, and my team's going to love me for saying this uh, because we just had our conference last week and we talked about whether or not practice initiation is sort of ready to broaden its vertical focus. Uh, and I would suggest that any business that deals with jobs and has those sorts of deliverables that are perhaps not a physical product, so anything that's a service, so you know, deliver a report, deliver advice, uh, potentially even deliver um, a job like a painter or a carpenter, etc. Um, that you could use practice initiation to send your client a quote whilst you're in the same room with them, have them hit accept, and then we'll go and create that client for you in your back office system, so your invoicing system and your workflow system. Everything will be kept in sync, and we'll actually go and collect the funds if the clients put in their uh, payment details, whether that's direct debit or credit card. Um, and really, any business that has that sort of methodology and how they uh, operate, so you know, contract, workflow, invoicing, payments, and they want it all tied together, practice initiation could be used uh, for that business. Mm, absolutely. What I love about it as well is that you don't really need to do any integrations from the start. Like no. a, a, a huge problem that I see with business owners is that it's so overwhelming. Not only would you have to choose the proposal software, but you'd have to pick the payment gateway. How are you going to accept payments? You've got to work out the CRM and all of that kind of thing. But it really is just doing it all for you. And you can get going in, I would say, under an hour. I'd say, so the only time uh, that practice initiation really takes to set up is two things. Number one is understanding what your current terms and conditions actually are, so having a contract of sorts. Mm -hmm. And secondly uh, is to make sure that you understand how you charge your clients and what your pricing structures are. Mm -hmm. um, if you know those two things and the descriptions of those services that you offer, mm -hmm. um, setting it up is actually really easy. Um, mm -hmm. But if you don't, uh, there's obviously a bit of pre-planning that needs to go in mm -hmm. before you can get up and running. Okay, so hopefully in this episode by watching, you'll be able to get real clarity on what you would need in order to get that whole setup complete. Exactly right. Cool. Um, and maybe you can just, before we go on to the next thing, can you, can you walk us through what's the worst thing that can really happen for a business if they don't have this type of centralized system? Uh, so scope creep is really a big problem, uh, specifically in accounting firms, but I think service industry in general. So it's scope huge. creep by definition mm -hmm. is... Uh, clients' needs have changed. Uh, they've asked for help. So if it was a, an accountant, they might say, hey, guy, I love what you're doing with my preparing my basses. Can you take over my management accounting and my bookkeeping? I say, yes, that's fantastic. No problem. Send me through your information, and we'll sort it out later. Because you know, everyone's mm -hmm. busy. They don't have time to go and write up a brand new contract in Word, mm -hmm. send it out to clients, get it signed, get it back, and then start the work. The client wants it straight away. Yep. Um, we're Best, by the way, taxes. <laughs> <laughs> Australian version of taxes. Yeah, sorry about that. Aussie, Aussie jargon there. Um, and so with practice initiation, you literally go into your existing proposal and you can click edit. Uh, you make your variations, so you add in the new services that you're going to offer. Uh, send it out to the client. At the top, they'll be notified of the change order or the, the scope creep and, and how it's going to impact their monthly contract or mm. you know, ongoing recurring work with you. Uh, as soon as they sign off on any device, it'll then update the workflow, invoicing, payments. Um, so mm. realistically, it sort of solves that whole problem, keeps you with a nice clean audit trail. Your clients are aware of the changes in the charges, so you don't fight about the bill later. Um, but it really helps you sort of mitigate that big problem. Yeah, absolutely. And I see so many service-based business owners who run into this problem, and they don't have an effective solution for upgrading that proposal once the contract has been signed, yeah. and Practice Ignition really fixes that, so that's awesome. Um, and I would love to find out a little bit more about why you would choose Practice Ignition. I guess we covered a little bit more on that before, yeah. but why would you choose Practice Ignition over sort of some of those best-of-breed or individual tools 
And what else do we need to know before you get it set up? Okay. Um, so why I would choose, yeah, why I would choose practice ignition over a few of our competitors. Um, some of our competitors have an amazing quoting engine, uh, but they're typically designed for one-off quotes. So you have a project uh, that needs to be accepted. It'll do that whole uh, layout of the contract, videos, embedded colors, beautiful, absolutely stunning, right? Mm -hmm. And right now, and I dare say in the future, we're not going to have that. If that's the most important thing to your business, um, then that's probably the right tool for you. So there's PandaDoc, there's Quotient, a few others that do a really good job of that. Mm -hmm. um, where you want practice ignition is where you want to focus on what happens next. Um, so when you have workflow and invoicing connected, where you want to be able to vary that contract where your contract has an element of a recurring billing engine, um, where you want it all in one system. So like Laurel said, payments aren't in a third party application. There's no additional fees, like merchant fees for running the payment side of the business uh, through practice ignition. And where you want to be able to see the business analytics, so a dashboard which it allows you to dig into what services you have, what dollars they bring to your business, uh, how many clients you have uh, ongoing, um, and also just forecasting your revenue and your, and your cash flow. Um, those other proposal engines don't do things like that. The one exception might be is if you went down the path of setting up your own complete instance of something like a Salesforce with a few plugins, which mm. having used Salesforce to run our business, um, it's a sort of a 50 grand plus expedition just to get it set up. Yep. Um, oh, absolutely. But yeah, so other quoting tools. Without going so, into too much detail. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So uh, Zero QBO also have quoting engines. Uh, mm. um, all are, are completely apt. I think it depends on whether or not you're running a, a leisure business as well versus a, a proper business. So if you look after you know, three different clients a month, the admin headache we're solving isn't huge. You're probably not concerned about your MRR and your growth rate, sorry, MRR, monthly recurring revenue, and your growth rate of your business as much. You're more concerned about it sustaining your existing lifestyle. Therefore, you're not really interested in the analytics or process efficiency because it's just something you're doing on the side. Mm. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, so practice ignition, it sounds like, is really there for scale. So you're, you're really taking your business seriously, you're ready to grow your client base, and you'd want to hop on. So scale or efficiency? Mm. If you just want to be able to basically turn the dial up on the profit, maybe reduce your admin costs, uh, mm. because these processes that we just talked through all have usually human hours attached to them, different systems attached to them, and uploads and downloads and miscommunication mm. and all those sorts yeah. of things. So um, I would say that if you're interested in growing, 100%. If you're interested in the scalability and efficiency of your business, 100% as well. If you're just interested in plodding along, maybe not so much. Got it. And not okay. that there's anything wrong with that. Right. Yeah. Just depends on you. So if that resonates with you, then definitely follow along because we are going to walk you through now how to set up your free trial of Practice Ignition and get started. So are you able to hop onto the computer and kind of run us through the landing page? I am there right now. Yeah? Awesome. Go for it. <laughs> All right, so very easy to get started, and I presume everyone can see my screen. Yep. Um, perfect. The lights so are out. So what's the URL that people should navigate oh, to? Oh, sorry. Yeah, so it's app.practiceignition.com. Um, you can see it here, forward slash sign up. If you're coming from our homepage, uh, it's just practiceignition.com. There's a nice little sign up button up in the corner. Can you walk us through that on the homepage, yeah, actually? Sure. Would that be all right? And maybe just show us um, a little bit about the current pricing as well. You can just walk us through. I can. Let me figure out how to circumvent the auto direct. There we go. Beautiful. So when you load it up, there's a, a gorgeous landing page, and you can walk through and look for the pricing in your country as well. That's right. So uh, pricing is just up here on the top right. Um, if you want to get started with the trial, there's a nice few big orange buttons throughout the main page, um, like this one. And you can get mm -hmm. started. To continue enjoying this presentation, download Brin, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Brin.ai or search the App Store today.